Will PewDiePie delete his channel at 100 million subscribers? You guys want me to cover this? Now I made a video on what PewDiePie's 100 million subscriber play button looks like, up there. Now, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, here's a brief little history lesson. A bit over two years ago, PewDiePie made a second YouTube channel because he wanted to reach a million subscribers again so he could get another 1 million play button because his arrived, like, broken. Good job, FedEx. It is just clearly trash. Like, what am I gonna do with it? So he made Jacksepticeye 2. Jacksepticeye 2. Or Jacksepticeye 2. <laughs> Jacksepticeye 2. <laughs> and then later on, YouTube was having some problems. The sub feed they sort of got rid of or something. Uh, post notification bell. Like, you have to subscribe twice now. Hey guys, be sure to click that ding. And you know, YouTube was just in one of its down parts. And it's been in a down part for the last few years now. <laughs> so what he did is he said, once he reaches 50 million subscribers, he will delete his channel. But I'm gonna delete my channel. Add 50 million subs. I will delete my channel once PewDiePie hits 50 million. And what did he do when he reached that milestone? He deleted Jacksepticeye 2. Like, it was a technicality. He got out on a technicality. He deleted his channel, Jacksepticeye 2. The media thought he was gonna delete PewDiePie. Stupid media. And it was just one big joke, but he technically did what he said. But at the end of that video, he put will delete PewDiePie at 100 million subscribers. And now he's at 80 million, what are we gonna do? It's up to you guys of what you guys wanna do here. You either get him to 100 million, beat T-Series, but he deletes his channel, or you stop subscribing to PewDiePie and T-Series passes him. So it's kind of a lose-lose here, right? So will PewDiePie actually delete his channel? No. I have two reasons for this. One, it's his passion and his work. Why would you remove that? He said before, that he loves to make videos for his fans. And uh, I don't think he would delete his channel just for a joke. I wouldn't. So I wouldn't delete Timeworks for anything. So away she goes, right? So yeah, he would not do it because of that. And second, he didn't even do it last time. He got out on a technicality. So this time, I think he'll try and get it on another technicality. Because at the end of the video, he said, we'll delete PewDiePie at 100 million subscribers. Now I know it's a joke, and last time it was a joke, but he still made a video on it, and he has ways to get out of this. He never specified if it was the YouTube channel, or his Twitter account, or his Instagram account, or whatever. He could delete anything. It could even be like, Poppy Harlow takes over PewDiePie, and like, in PewDiePie some weird character thing, and PewDiePie sort of gets deleted by po I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. But he has many ways to get out of this, so he's not gonna delete his channel, that's for sure. And so that ends this video here. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and if you like the new mic quality, be sure to smash a like and hit that post notification. <laughs> if this video gets two like, ooh, no, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna ask for two likes, still, two likes. But you guys know what today is. It's the 31st, last day of 2018. And do you remember what happened on this day exactly one year ago? Logan Paul can't really talk about it anymore, so we'll get demonetized, but you guys probably know what I'm saying. I really hate to say this. Cool, 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 cool.